what's going on YouTube thanks for tuning in for another video my name is Brandon and today we're gonna to be doing another install on my e90 we're gonna be putting a carbon fiber front splitter onto the car and we're gonna be doing some work to the back of the car I have some little um, rear bumper like extenders that are also gonna be carbon after we wrap them which is gonna be really dope but before we can get into all that fun stuff what I first have to do is I have to uninstall the lip that I put on um, maybe two or three videos ago if you guys haven't seen that video I'll link it for you guys in the description definitely check it out because this lip is pretty good if you guys don't have an M-Sport bumper uh, like me um, but anyway as you guys may or may not know my front lip on the car right now is polyurethane and it's just plain black and what we're gonna be doing is taking it to a local shop so they can color match it to my car this weird gray slash purplish color whatever color this car is um, yeah they're gonna paint it and it's gonna look fresh So I just got the lip back. It's back there chilling in the garage. Um, guy told me that he just painted like, I think yesterday or something like that, like yesterday night. Um, so he said to let it cure for 24 hours before I put it on the car. So we're gonna wait 24 hours and then we'll be back out here tomorrow putting the front lip on and the carbon fiber splitter. So front lip is on. I think the color, it's like, I give it like a 90% color match. Like it's, I can definitely tell it's a little bit off, but that's definitely after me staring at it a while and nitpicking. Um, but I think it looks good. Now, hopefully within a couple hours, the splitter arrives. We can put that on. I'm kind of curious to see how I'm gonna mount it up. I try to get the screws that are on the lip flush. So that way when I put on the splitter, like there's nothing blocking the splitter or making it like at an angle. So we'll see what happens when it gets here. Just talk quality of this lip really fast. Um, quality, I'd give it like maybe, uh, I don't even know how to judge it. It's a little bit thinner than I um, than I thought it was gonna be. I mean, I've never had a carbon fiber splitter before, but this is pretty thin. 
to where um, it actually gives me some points to where to drill it. So that's pretty cool. Um, so I give that a plus one for that. Um, because if this were to stick out too far and you would hit like, I don't know, a pothole or something like that, you're definitely going to rip this lip up. Like, I don't, I just want to show you like how flimsy, not flimsy it is, but like, it just, it could be a little bit thicker. Um, but I'm still going to mount it up to the car and see how the, how this goes. doesn't look like it fits how I thought it was going to fit um when I bought it from eBay like it did have the BMW in description it was an E92 so I don't know are the E92s like a little bit like skinnier like frame wise um and the E90 is bigger which I highly doubt but it doesn't fit how I thought it was going to fit so let me show you guys that right now I thought it was going to go like all the way to that side over there but it kind of stops right there so it's not like terrible and I would do that on both sides. So it's not, like I said, it's not terrible, but not how I thought it was going to be. I'm going to mock it up and, you know, put some screws on it, see how it goes. And we'll see what happens. of the self-tapping screws in uh, i might add one or two more later but i think this would hold the only thing that i really did not account for was this right here there's a lot of um room over there so i'm thinking like when i'm driving if air gets through there is it gonna rip the lip i'm sorry not rip the lip is it gonna rip the splitter or you know like i'm kind of worried about that so honestly <laughs> this could be the best money i ever spent in my life or the worst amount of money i spent in my life so We'll see. I can already tell that um, this side right here raises a little bit more than this side, which means like one or two of the screws went a little bit crooked on this side. So I'll have to probably loosen those screws up, put some new ones in, um, and then we'll see how that gets me, but I, I kind of like the way it looks to be honest like I can't explain it I know it doesn't um, reach all the way to here Like I can possibly do like maybe like a fin right here and then that can maybe make it flow a little bit better But it's not terrible to be honest Like once again I'm still worried about right here because there is like a huge gap between the lip and the splitter So please just wish me luck on that part that is gonna be it for today's video, guys. I actually did have another thing to add to the video. I have uh, these little shark fins for the diffuser, which is what I wanted to show you guys in the last video. But I still am waiting on this carbon fiber wrap to get here. And that's not here yet, so I can't wrap those and put them on the car. So I'll be saving that for another time, guys. Appreciate you guys tuning in, and um, thank you for watching to the end of the video. If you guys like this video, drop a like. You know, it takes like two seconds. If you guys like this and wanna see more content, definitely hit that subscribe button, put the bell on because I post weekly car videos. Every single week, I'm posting a car video of me working on my E90. Um, and if I'm not working on my car, I'll probably be working on somebody else's car or going to a car meet or something car related. Um, so yeah, just hit the sub button, hit the like button, you know, tell your friends, tell your family, all that. But not for real. If you guys like this um, front lip I put on my car, we'll put the link in the description. It was a little bit over $200. It had tax on it, um, maybe like $207. Um, so keep that in mind if you guys want to buy it. Like I said, quality is not bad. It is carbon. If you guys are running a different type of front splitter, whether it be carbon fiber or not, definitely let me know because I'll check it out. Um, like I said, the fitment on this E90, it didn't go uh, from 
like the full bumper um so i kind of centered it like you guys saw um but yeah if you guys are running something different let me know i'll check it out maybe i might want to get one for myself it's in the price range and yeah just appreciate you guys watching stay tuned to the next one peace out